And you know what I'm really thinking now? Why is a girl like Cindy playing Stick World Legacy? Like, you look at Cindy, she's that high school cheerleader who cares about selfies and Facebook followers. Why bother playing a game like Stick World Legacy? I thought that's what us nerds play. Okay, so that's gonna do it for that. Now I gotta make sure to make a super clickbaity title. I wanna make sure I drag my viewers in so I can get more of them. So I'm wondering what I should call this. Ooh, I know what. I should say that they're hacks in this video, even though they really aren't going to be because who's going to bother taking the time to hack the game and, oh, hey, how you doing? Um, I totally wasn't scheming to clickbait you guys, nah. -uh. So we're back at Spin the Wheel, a new challenge for Stick World Legacy tournament mode that I will be partaking in today. So ever since I lost my old phone, I ended up losing those old wheels, which I'm not upset about actually. Those old wheels I think sucked. I definitely could have done a much better job uh, coming up with wheels. So that's what I have done here. Here are five new wheels that I have came up with that we will be spinning today. So the first one is banned units and it's literally self-explanatory. Whatever we land on, the unit's banned. The next one's avatars with special perks. I want to dive a little deep into this wheel because I kind of like how I came up with this idea. So I am removing the freedom of choosing my own avatar when I decide to play the tournament mode. That is now given to this wheel. This wheel will tell me what avatar I will use. But I have added some special perks in the Google document for this wheel. And I'm going to go there and show you what they are. All right, so here we are at the document and I've done a lot of cleaning up on this document too. This is the only category that's on here right now, which is explaining what the perks are for the avatars. So if we land on miner, we get to summon five extra gold mines and we can use one training haste. For sword wrath, unlimited uses of rage. For Archidon, two golden archers. For spiritons, Allow one golden spiriton and unlimited spiriton madness. For magi kill, I can use up to four merics, two statue turrets, and one heal all. And for giant, two stone giants and a griffin. So just some extra perks on top of the perks that the avatars already give you. So I'm basically making them more valuable for myself or whatever, something like that. So here's the next wheel. This was an old wheel that I decided to expand upon. So this used to say just upgrades and no upgrades. So uh, I could just, for the old wheel, it was just I could either upgrade my units to max or I couldn't upgrade them at all. Well, this time what I've done is I have just kind of added two extra slices in. And it's pretty much tier one and two upgrades. Like if whatever I land on, that's what I get to do in terms of upgrades. It'll make more sense once we start playing. The next one, skins, which affects all. This is also self-explanatory. Whatever we land on is the skin we put on all units. Don't need to go any deeper than that. Now here's the fun one right here. This is good old time delays. I got this idea from an old video I made a while ago or not a while, it was actually years ago. It's called Stick World Legacy Minute 25 Challenge where I couldn't build any units for a minute and 25 seconds. Just some stupid idea that I thought would be fun. Well, we're going back to that idea and we're expanding on it with this wheel. So here are the options. 15 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes, and four minutes, that's right. There's going to be a four minute time delay that I'm going to have the potential to land on and really torture myself for your amusement. All right, well, let's spin these bad boys. Although I do need to remember that whatever unit that gets banned, I should uh, disable the avatar for that unit as well, since I obviously can't freaking use it. But here we go. Banned units. What unit will I not be able to use today? If miners get banned, I'm going to lose my mind. That means I just can't build any miners to get any economy. It looks like giants will be banned today, so no giants. All right, so since giant got banned, we need to deactivate the giant slice. And so it is gone. Now let's see what avatar we're going to get, which of course 
does not mean giants. And today, we will get the Magi Kill Avatar, which is nice since the Magi Kill, th this, this slice gives me like a lot of options on top of what I already get from the Magi Kill Avatar in the game. Here we are at upgrades. What type of upgrades will we be making today? It looks like I get to make max upgrades. We were so close to landing on no upgrades there. That was going to be painful. But, you know, I don't get to use giants, but I get max upgrades. Freaking sweet. Up next is skins. What skins will be put in? Just give me a lava so I can just dominate everything. And I think I'm going to get my wish. No, I'm not going to get my wish. I'm going to get vamp instead. That's fine. Vamp can be pretty useful, I guess. But now, here is the most terrifying wheel of all. Time delays. What will we land on? Will we get lucky and get 15 seconds? Or will we go straight to hell with a 4 minute time delay? Stay tuned to find out. Oh boy, my heart is pounding. Will we get lucky or will we be devastated? It looks like I am going to go straight to hell. The first time I'm spinning this wheel and I have a four minute time delay. And so here we are. We're playing on insane Magi Kill Avatar. Our first match is against Cindy. It's classic. And I can't build any units for four minutes. All right, so, um, yeah. Now, there is an exception that I have to add with this four minute time delay. On certain game modes and against certain players, I will have to allow myself to build one unit before I go for the four minute time. Oh. I'm up here running my damn mouth and I haven't even started the timer yet. Oh yeah, also, I can't edit a timer into the video because I just don't have the type of editing software that can do that, obviously. So I'm going to be stuck with just, you know, using a different device. You guys will hear when the timer goes off though, so you know I'm not like cheating or anything. But, 3 minutes and 35 seconds and counting of me not being able to build a single unit and my stupid ash just built extra miners when I literally just forgot that I couldn't build a single thing for four straight minutes. Well, whatever. It's economy. It doesn't really matter. We're just going to leave it be. We're going to get a ton of gold anyway once we uh, obviously reach the end of four freaking minutes. So it doesn't matter. But anyway, here we are. But as I was saying before, against in certain game modes and against certain players, I'm going to have to allow myself to build one unit before going for the four minute timer delay because we literally just would not survive afterwards. But let's see. Two minutes and 50 seconds left. Now on classic, I don't have to worry too much because the uh, tournament players are really chill. They just don't seem to run in, obviously, if it's not any one of the four pro players, in which case, wow. That's totally not unfair. Three arches, you just pull three arches out of your ass. Two minutes and 15 seconds left, and I still can't build anything. I mean, Cindy's still just chilling. She's made her first spear tin, and I'm freaking terrified right now. I don't know what I'm gonna be able to do to stop all this, especially considering I cannot make giants. And in all honesty, a giant would be the only way to get rid of all this crap because of Earthquake. But then again, we're not using Lava either, we're using Vamp. Well, what I decided to do was max out Magi Kill, my statue defenses, and Archidon. So the, the, the build today is going to be Magi Kill and Archidons, but that's if we're going to survive. We still have a minute and 30 seconds left, and Cindy is just making this massive army. I have a population of five right now, but she's just not attacking. 
But the moment she does will be set point. This is why I maxed out my statue defenses. But I can only use two statue turrets per game. So that's also another thing I have to keep in mind. And the benefit of having all of my units on one particular skin is my statue will regen health. So that's a good thing. We have 58 seconds left. And see, I kind of wish I got the minor avatar because that would allow me to build a training haste. So I'm going to garrison. Obviously, I cannot, I cannot defeat this. And we're going to time our statue turrets correctly. Yeah, that statue damage is pretty stupid. All right, so my statue is going to go resilient there. I'm not going to use the statue turret yet until it fades. Then I will use it. And don't underestimate the pigtails. What the hell does pigtails have to do with any of this, Cindy? I don't give a crap about your ugly pigtails. So there we go. The statue turret is going to kill all of her spiritons. We have 13 seconds left and we can build units. Um, I have my second statue turret, which is... I'm saving it. I'm not going to use it yet. My cast legends need to kill that magi kill, though. Kill that magi kill, please. All right. Timer has stopped. We're going to build... Hey, can you shut up, please? All right, the timer stopped. So now we have units building. I'm still going to keep everything in garrison. This is why I maxed out my statue defenses. So I can successfully defend against all this crap. But we're gonna have to get ready to use another statue turret, which will be our second and final statue turret. So we're gonna use it now. Just get rid of that spiriton. And then that's just, that spirit is also gonna get eaten up. Goodbye. You're dead. And there we go. We pretty much defeated Cindy's entire army. And we have Magi Kill on the way. When did I get... Oh, Reinforcement Wave gives me swords. I think upgrading your statue size? Either your statue size or castle archers. One of the two gives you swords. And yeah, you're gonna give me that. Yeah, like, totally awesome. No, it's not. It's not totally awesome. In fact, it's a dumb spell, Cindy. See, I have double the health, so I don't give two craps about your archer on rain. But now we've uh, taken this deficit and turned it into a big lead because you are not going to stop these magi kill i don't care how powerful you think your little guys are or whatever you're just not going to stop these magi kill so you yeah, have continue blasting we're going to kill everything now the power of castle archers and statue turrets have allowed us to prevail against cindy and defeat her. Like I said, I think this is way too loud actually. It's hard to tell what volume to have this phone on to make sure I'm not blowing your eardrums out or anything. And you know what I'm really thinking now? Why is a girl like Cindy playing Stick World Legacy? Like you look at Cindy, she's that high school cheerleader who cares about selfies and Facebook followers. Why bother playing a game like Stick World Legacy? I thought that's what us nerds play. All right, we have successfully defeated Cindy. Game two is against Vin and Gold Rush. So this is the exception where I, ha I have to build a unit before I go for the four minute time delay. Otherwise, we just will not survive. All right, build the spear tin, start the timer. So four minutes and counting, and my only unit for four whole minutes is a single Spiritan. I chose a Spiritan since I'm gonna have the highest survivability with him. Like I could go for the single sword, but I'm afraid I might lose him to bad micro, so yeah. I'll throw the spear to kill you right away. But then we still have to put him with his other swords. He might not lose any miners actually. In fact, he's gonna garrison. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Be scared of this Spiritan. Can't believe he did that. He retreated. Okay, we did lose one miner. But yeah, he retreated to one Spiritan. I mean, all the while, this is going to help me. Because I have to wait. I still have 3 minutes and 13 seconds left. I can't build anything right now. So, garrisons from him is something that I like to see. I need to make sure that when he goes for his jump attacks that we shield that. There we go. 
So, still... Hey, shut up, phone. There we go. So we kill the swords, and he's gonna garrison again. I will kill one miner, and then we will just kind of fall back. Alright, we are 2 minutes and 26 seconds and still counting. So far, no dangerous units from Vin right now. There's a spear tin, which I'm actually gonna just completely ignore. I want these miners. He does have archers now, though. I probably should ignore the spear tin now that he's controlling him. But what I want to do is still harass this eco. So this is the game plan here. If I can actually hit the Spiritan. Damn it. Oh, there's a Magi kill. That's bad. I don't know what we're going to do against that. That's the dangerous unit that I was afraid of. Okay, yeah, his Spiritan is starting to piss me off. Alright, we're going to garrison. We definitely got a garrison right now. Okay, there we go. So we avoid that. All right, we have to think of, we gotta pull some good moves here. We still have a minute and 28 seconds left before we can build stuff. All right, let's back up. Let's go for the spear throw defense now, and this will actually help in getting health back. There we go, we got his Magi kill, which is pretty much what we wanted. I don't even need to bring my miners out. With 4,000 gold, I don't care. I can keep my units in a garrison, just protect the eco, and go from there. So this is gonna be a rinse and repeat kind of deal here, where we're just stalling until the timer ends up. When we have 45 seconds left as well. God, I can't talk right now. This actually works out for me, because I can just stall with this one Spiritan, using my Castle Archers to kill anything that he makes, while also keeping my Miner's Garrison and having a huge amount of gold stockpiled. And so once it ends, I can just build my army and destroy everything Vin has. And this is really funny. My Miner's are in Garrison, and he's still going to Garrison to my Spiritan. I mean, obviously he knows. I can pressure him all day with this one Spiritan. There is another Magi kill though, we need to be careful. And the timer is going to end right now. Alright, be quiet. Now we're going to go for a bunch of these units. I think Archers are the uh, go-to unit here. I'm still going to keep my units in Garrison. I don't need to bring him out right now. Alright, let's leave. I'm just kind of chipping things down as we go along. Mainly the swords and the spear tin. Not so much the magic kill minions. We're obviously not going to kill them because the wizard's just going to make more. There we go. So yeah, let's get rid of his spear tin because he really is getting on my nerves. And like I said, this looks bad, right? Well, guess what? I can just life steal this health back by throwing the spear. Except we didn't hit anything there. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I think we are strong enough to come back out now. Yep, we definitely are. Look at this army that we have. Freaking perfect. So, couldn't build anything for four minutes. This was just a game of stalling against Vin for like that short period of time there. So, yep, we get rid of you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. You're going to go for your Archer on Rain. You think I care? No, I don't. Yeah, screw the swords. Let's go for the miners here. He still has a really big economy, and we want to dispose of that before he gets his third Magi kill. Not that it matters, though. I think I found the key to this. Even though I can't build anything for four minutes, all I got to do is use my statue defenses to stall for as long as I can. Alright, so we pretty much won this game. We already know Vin's reinforcements are not going to do anything against this army. So we don't have anything to worry about. There we go. We defeated Vin. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't bad at all, actually. It was just pretty simple. Just lure his army into my castle watches while stalling with the Spiritan. Pretty simple stuff, really. 
I don't know how lucky we're going to get with this one, though, because this is super death, not super. This is regular deathmatch against Zane. And while as much as I would like a giant to be my unit of choice, well, uh, I think one of our wheels has kind of said no to that. All right, well, same thing. One Spiritan and four minute timer is going. So this is pretty much going to be the same thing that like I did against Ben, where I just stall for as long as I can. And when his army is too strong, just garrison, let my cast luck just go to work and use my two statue turrets wisely. It is really fortunate that we landed on the Magi Kill Avatar because if not, I would not get the two statue turrets and we would be doing much worse. So that's an automatic 800 damage. I think Zane goes for like 25 giants here. So all I gotta do is just chip them down. I can always just retreat and get my spear again and then throw it again. So, man, I'm actually gonna do that. Just garrison, let the Spiritan run back inside and get his spear. So we can just go for some more 800 damage spear throws. I think that'd be pretty neat. Now, I do, I do gotta keep in mind, I'm only gonna get like, what? Two cast of archers instead of, you know, what I really want, which is all four? No, I'm only gonna get one castle archer here. That's kind of bad. I'm not going to do like last time in the first game where I accidentally built miners. No, no, no. We can only build one unit. And yeah, he just made a third giant, right? Yep, third giant. I am reading this guy like a book. So that's 800 damage there and he's going to run in, right? Yes, he is going to run in. All right. This is going to be a little bit tough with only one castle archer, but we do have statue turrets in combination with spear throws. And I think that will just do a great job in just deleting these high health units. Okay, that spear throw missed. You don't like to see that. I let the spear tin go back into the castle. That's also bad. All right, we're gonna use it now. Use the statue turret now. And yep, you're dead. And you're also dead. All right, we need the spear back. Can my statue turret last long enough to kill that spear tin? Nearly we nearly killed him. All right, we're we got to be careful now. So We have a second statue turret that we can use but I'm going to save it for right now We're not going to use it quite yet because once we use it we cannot use anymore We're gonna get rid of your match. I kill bye. Bye. There you go. You're dead And then the same thing as before we still have a minute and 25 seconds left so I'm going to save the statue turret. No need to use it right now. All right, we'll go back inside now. Start using spirit throw defense again. There we go. So we kill the spiritons and the archidons are all that's left. I and mean, I think we pretty much just drain Zane's gold even though he obviously is gonna have an economy, so it doesn't really matter. And again, same thing with me. I have so much gold to work with that I just don't need to bring the miners out. So we'll just leave him be and put some pressure on Zane while doing this. So he used up all of his gold. He has no gold left except what he's making from his economy. So we don't have to worry about any more giants. That's the greatest part about this. I can knock you down too, pal. Yeah, this is great, especially the vamp skin. This is a spirit tin that can pretty much never die as long as I just garrison and use my spirit throw abilities. And now the timer is going to run out in three, two, one. Timer is up. Now we're just gonna go crazy and just make like a crap ton of units and press the attack button as well. And the second I do, he's going to go for the Archon on Rain. But you know what? I'm the only unit on the field right now besides my two miners. I don't think I got to worry about that. So now we press attack. <laughs> I got your sword. Yeah, you thought you can get away with him? Nope. So we'll go for statue damage here. I don't care about these castle ledgers. 50 combined damage. Who cares? Now he has his own Spiritan. 
but this is where we will slowly bring on the pain. Here come the first two mads that kill minions, or okay, here come a lot more than that. <laughs> yeah, you're dead. You were done for, Zane. I have stalled out against you, drained all your gold, and you're about to have nothing left. Sit down. And no castle arches. This is beautiful. Blast finish? No. Don't get to get a blast finish. Alright, so we get Zack for finals. Thank goodness it's no Cyrus. That's not good, though. It is barricades. Okay, so we're going to have to change our stuff here. So here's how we're going to do this. Max out swords, right? I still want to get maxed out statue defenses. We're just going to need them. And then we'll go for the last two upgrades to be the miners. Just for extra gold. And we're here, here's the game plan. So the, the one unit I'm going to make is a sword. And then we're going to start the timer. I may, I actually may be, able to, I may be able to defeat Zack with one single vamp sword. Like... Zack's swords are so weak, I can kill them with one single jump attack, controlling a sword. Against the other pro players, I cannot do that, but against Zack, it's actually pretty easy. So, the timer's counting down 3 minutes and 35 seconds, a long way to go, right? But I think we may be set point. If this was crazy, Jay, I'd be panicking right now, but Zack, I know for a fact, is not going to pull a crazy Jay, and go for like 10 billion swords. So here we go. I do have to be careful though. Zack is well known to mass archers. And if this one sword dies, well, that's it. I can't build any units until the timer ends. So this is the risky part about choosing a sword rat as my one unit. But the second that wall breaks, I'm gonna just start jump attacking things. So he's gonna stop at five swords. That means we have an Archidon on the way, I'll bet. So see, look at that. I kill one sword with a jump attack. And now his miners are gonna feel the same fate, except they can survive a, a single jump attack from me. That's really funny though. His swords are weaker than his miners. All right, so no archers yet, except we're gonna be seeing them. We're gonna be seeing two of them in like a split second. Oh, very risky play there. Oh, okay, I thought I died for a second, but I killed a miner and got my health back. There's the archers. These are the units I need to... Okay, so we're gonna have to garrison off of that. I Was I not blocking? I'm pretty sure I was blocking. You know, that's the funny thing. It, it's so hard to forget the absurd di- Yeah, so basically this is absolute cheating. Like, how? My statue is max health. So, I think two swords is a jump attack right there, and Zack was controlling one. That combined damage put my freaking statue at half health. What is the point of maxing this thing out then? If it can still eat garbage from two jump attacks with a combined damage of 150 and 75. So yeah, I don't care how many swords you run. I mean, you're not going to stop three maxed out castle archers. So we're going to have to sit like this because still got a minute and 13 seconds left before we can build units. There's no point in bringing the miners out. Once the timer ends, I'm just going to spam swords and end his freaking life. I cannot believe that. Like, how? Like I said, I don't care. I don't care what kind of dodging moves you see. This is where Z4CK is going to go full freaking retard. And just send in single swords at me. Which is going to allow me to build up my army and then crush him. And here we have a rare sighting of the species... Idiota, Zack, as he continues to send these swords in single waves at his opposing player, not realizing that his opposing player has three castle archers, all of them maxed out in damage, just going to continue to kill his swords over and over again.
Like, what are you trying to accomplish here? All right, so he's gonna waste a rage. <laughs> You're gonna waste a rage. These castle archers just don't give a crap. All right, the timer's up. And here's what we're gonna do now. We're just gonna spam swords and I'm gonna chill here. I'm gonna chill and wait until enough swords are out for me to just rush Zack down and destroy him. What a great time to use a rage when you have no sword count and you're continuing to summon the castle archers to die. This is so funny. My, my statue's back at full health even though it took a statue turret because I think what we already saw earlier. The absurd di- Alright, I think Zack's gonna chill back now and build up his sword count. So this is where, once my castle archers kill that sword, we will bring the, uh, there we go. All right, and check this out. Look at this sword count right here. Look at this. Freaking great. An extra benefit of upgrading my statue defenses, we can get free units from that. Once the statue gets low enough in health. So here we go, this is where we kill everything. Oh yeah, we're gonna get rid of that archer. Or not. We'll let my swords just kill these miners then. And look at this statue damage now. Destruction at its finest. Now, if I had the sword red avatar, I would have showed Zack how to properly use rage, but I don't have that avatar, so yeah. Yeah, you must be cheating or something. Yeah, I'm totally cheating. You're the idiot that sent single swords at me at Castle Arch just for I don't know how long. And yet I was cheating? I don't know, if I were you, I'd get some training from Cyrus or something. Yeah, get training from Cyrus. Get training from the cheater himself. Well, we have prevailed, but that's only because uh, I had the Magi Kill avatar, and the additional perks with that was statue turrets, which allowed me to survive a lot longer. That in combination with the Vam skin, I think helped us even more. But next video, I'm going to keep the four minute time delay, but I'm gonna respin all the other wheels and see what we get from there. Because I'm pretty sure if I have a different setup going, but I have still have the four minute time delay, we're gonna be suffering. I think today was a field day pretty much, except for uh, the absurd day. So that is going to end it for this video. I would do another challenge, but the, the video is gonna be too long and I hate that. So yes, that will be all. Join the Empire by hitting that subscribe button. Do it. Now. Or else. Hit the bell icon so you know when I upload next and all that. And I will see you in the next one.